Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? Uh, yeah, I wanted to do a video. I was originally going to do, um, well, I, I was, I was playing D&D with me and my buddies, and they were asking if I, you know, they saw, like, um, what was going on in Minneapolis with the riots and stuff like that because the, um, police detaining that George Floyd ending up in his death. You know, and protesting and it turned into riots, and they said they had like, and, and it's all over the country. And you're talking about the National Guard being deployed to that, it was never happened before. And I said, Yeah, I heard some of the stuff on the news. I know, um, I saw a video in Erie Times News that they were having a peaceful protest um, in Perry Square. I, I sent them a video of that. And then I was going to, you know, after that. After we played D and D, I was going to get ready to do a Silent Live review, and I saw, well, a video of like police dispersing people. But then I started seeing all these special reports of things getting out of hand and actually turning into a riot. Uh, with the mayor declaring um, a state of emergency, saying everyone has to clear downtown area, you'll be arrested. Their big police presence were there because I guess what happened before was that uh, around six o'clock they had like a. I have a couple of videos of it. Well, I don't have the. It's on the Erie Times News or E News Now. And like uh, protests started in Perry Square, and then uh, they were walking. I mean, a few hundred people, and they have. Uh, they were marching around Erie, all of Erie, for like three hours, blocking traffic and stuff like that. Not a lot of social distancing happening. I mean, we're in the yellow phase right now. We're trying to get to the green phase. But I don't know if that's going to happen, especially now with no social distancing. You know, people wearing masks and stuff. Anyways, went back to Perry Square. Then, when the sun started going down, uh, unrest started happening where people throwing a rock through uh, uh, City Hall, spray painting, uh, breaking stuff. And then the cops, uh, you know, they were there. The police president was there to try to keep things or and then they went up the roof and start spraying tear gas down. People trying to clear everything up. There were fireworks, shooting out fireworks at people. One guy was shot in the thigh. And then uh, there was a part where they were uh, trying to, uh, police were out there trying to drive the people back to go to home. And after a while, people just stopped and said, we're not, we're not going any further. And they started throwing water balls at the police, shooting off fireworks uh, and throwing rocks or stuff like that. And then a, uh, a fire was set at the Erie Otters uh, headquarters. And Emily Madsen, the lovely Emily Madsen, I'm trying to on Facebook, um, did a report of that. And then she was showing, like, businesses are, like, a lot of windows are smashed. Businesses like, uh, what the, one of the, uh, the Erie Historical Society, the museum, uh, the tap house. So, played like that. I've never seen, like, Rioting in Erie before. I mean, I mean, I we've have we have crime and some of really bad stuff. But I mean, I've never seen rioting before. Uh, they said that the crowds, crowds have been dispersed. I think there's more news of it right here. Um, get rid of that. And it said like a yeah peaceful protest turned chaotic in downtown Erie. The fire tear gas on people. Yeah, Mayor Joe Schember declared a state of emergency at eleven fifty five. I think that's when I started watching Saturday Night Live. I was going to do a review of it. It was like, um, oh, the one Woody Harrelson knows, but Howie Cat did a better ver version of that. Yeah, then five minutes later, the firefighters dispersed to blade the Erie Otters' offices. Yeah. Fire was laid to disturbance. A peaceful protest down the air turned into a riot. On a, on a city sound on his Twitter account, about 10, 12 10, 10 after 12. The situation escalated and we are in state of emergency. It said do not go downtown. Let's see what else is going on. Um, ask all residents to stay in your homes. Try, yeah, the crowd smashed through the windows, including historical cashier's house. Um, also started small fires in the storefronts, but they were quickly extinguished. Um, yeah, they pushed down the uh, Several people were handcuffed. Uh, Intersection on State Street were littered with broken bricks, water, rocks, water bottles, and milk bottles. I didn't know about that. Protests hurled at police throughout the riot. 
the police had to fire additional tear gas at some point. I, I was in the military. And I remember we had like a thing where we had to go in the tear gas chamber and, you know, when you had to break the seal and you had to experience tear, tear gas sucks. Tear gas is the where I mean, that's the ultimate way to disperse people, but, you know, and then, um, let's see, and, you know, the thing between the conversation that's played throughout the night, most people were wearing masks, some people were not. Let's see, facing group approach, standing across from Perry Square, crowd. About 100 failed to disperse and pelted the SWAT team with large fireworks and water bottles, like I said. Also, they also fired uh, canister tear gas. Crowd stayed largely in place, shouting back as the team uh, broadcast man from last period. Yeah, there's a video of that. Yeah, members of the crowd uh, shouting obscenities at the police where others yelled, uh, I can't breathe, echoing the words of George Floyd, the resident of Minneapolis, Minnesota. <clears throat> who was who died at the hands of unruly police officers uh, attempting to uh, restrain him. After that, the demonstration ended. Uh, unrest descended on us. What are you doing, Maggie? You going? You going nuts too? Uh, she's running all over the place. After demonstrating unrest descended on the outside city hall. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't know about this. I mean, I'm looking at the whole thing right now. Sent more of the crowd deeper in Perry Square. Several members of the crowd pulled parking meters from the ground and smashed them on the sidewalk. I didn't know that. Small fire broke out in the trash can. A bystander pulled it out with a water bottle. Okay, bottle of water. Okay. I mean, it's all in the loudspeaker people blurring people to saying that this is the police department is an unlawful assembly. Disperse immediately. Yeah, and then uh, it's a developing story, and so I'm surprised. Um, it looks like, from what I've seen on the Spider Boy, it looks like things are calming down, but I was shocked. I mean, we I don't think we've ever had rioting in here. We had, now I could be wrong. I mean, now, early in the afternoon, I mean, I've been staying home, you know, with my knee and stuff like that, you know, off work. And, I, you know, I've been staying home. Uh, when the, yeah, I don't go anywhere, just around my area, then you went to Gerard, and I didn't see any problems at all, you know, just, uh, got Little Caesars, Dollar Tree, and that was, I didn't see no problems there. Uh, yeah, then the beer distributor, no problems there. I mean, it was just, I'm surprised. This really, I mean, it really took me by surprise. I know they're peaceful protests, that's usually what we have. Well, the police just, you know, staying to make sure things don't go out of hand. Usually things don't go out of hand like this. And I was talking to my one friend about it, you know, and I just saw I do a video of what was going to be a silent live review. I didn't see the whole thing. Um, and I'm being about this. I'm so I'm really surprised. Locally, we don't have stuff like this happening. And I heard that there were uh, protests in Pittsburgh, but I don't know what happened in Pittsburgh. So I hope you like this video. I hope it's been informative to you. And, uh, you know, I don't agree with what happened to George Floyd. So, hope you like this video, everybody. Until next time, please take care of my legion. Not a commentary, just a discussion. And, you know, tell what you think in the comments below. And try to keep it civil, but I don't know. Try to keep it civil. All right. Take care, everybody.